Okay, let me explain how trim works. When we're flying around a lot, doing the various maneuvers, taking off and landing, etc., I'm going to always be talking about trim and trimming the airplane for flight, or the other word is trim the airplane out. So what exactly does that mean? Well, when we fly the airplane, there's air flowing over the tail of the airplane, right? This airplane goes different speeds. It goes slow, it goes fast, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up and down at different power settings, it goes straight and level at different power settings, fast and slow, right? So because this airflow is flowing over the tail of the wing, what happens is more airflow or less airflow will give different pressure, different feel on the control. So let's say we wanted to maintain just straight and level flight and go along. Well, if we're flying straight and level and all of a sudden I decide, hey, I want to add a little power to go a little faster, the nose, because I'm adding more power, is going to want to come up. So we have to trim the pressure out. What this airplane has in the right side of the tail back on the elevator is a little tab that's called a trim tab. And what that does is it's located down here. And so let's say if the airplane has a tendency to want to drop nose low, I can trim the nose up. See where it says trim up? That means trim the nose up. So usually one, two, couple swipes. What I'm looking for is so I can let go of the controls and the airplane just maintains straight and level flight. Earlier when I added a little power, it wants to climb. I wanted to trim it out because I wanted to go a little faster. So because the nose wanted to come up, I wanted to, I'm gonna, I wanna trim the nose down, right? Because the nose wants to come up, I'm gonna give it a couple swipes it down. And again, you wanna be able to let go of the controls and the airplane mains straight and level. Okay, so now let's say we're slowing down to do a slow flight maneuver. So as we slow down, we're pulling back on the power, the air, air speed's slowing down, slower, slower, slower. Well, the nose is going to want to drop, right? So what, what do we do? What's our option? The one thing we can do, grab the trim wheel and see it says trim up. That means nose up. So we're going to add up trim. And you can see the tab in the back of the airplane, how that works. It works in the opposite direction. So if I'm, you can see when it's back, this is full up on the elevator. That's full down on the elevator, and you can see that trim wheel. It works in the opposite direction. This is, let's say that the nose wants to drop and I want to maintain altitude. This is what that trim wheel looks like when I'm doing that. It's going to be in that position, and vice versa. This is what full nose drown trim looks like. Kind of interesting. See it down here. So that's what full nose down trim looks like. That's full nose drown. You can see when the airflow flows over that trim tab, the little thing in the back, the air is shooting up, forcing the tail down. That's how that works, vice versa. So for takeoff, one of the things on the checklist is trim. And that just means the trim is in the takeoff position. You can see it right here. It says takeoff, there's a mark. And we want to have that. The reason is this airplane, when it's trimmed for takeoff, if it's trimmed too nose high, the airplane could just pitch right up. And then you'd have to shove forward on the control wheel. If it was pitched too far down, too far nose down, you have to really pull back and give that a big reap. That's why we just trim it for takeoff. And so as you can imagine, because it's trimmed for takeoff, takeoff's going to be a nose up attitude, isn't it? So when we get to cruise speed, let's say, or cruise altitude, let's say we get up to a thousand feet, we want to push the nose over to make the nose go down and the airspeed increase. Well, as the airspeed increases, you have more air pressure on that tail, keeping the nose down. What are we going to do? We're going to trim it out. So we're gonna, nose wants to come up, we're gonna give it a couple swipes, a nose down. So that's how that trim wheel works. And, and I wanted you to have a good grasp of that because that's a major thing that's gonna make your life a lot easier. The whole idea when you're doing any maneuver is that you don't have any control pressure, either pulling back or pushing forward. You want it, that the pitch attitude you want, either nose up, nose down, or straight and level, wherever you want this airplane to be. You don't wanna have a lot of control pressure in there. That's your friend, that's how it gets out. So anyhow, that's how trim works.